If you are a composer just like me, having some difficulties now and then to develop a simple melody or theme into a full cinematic orchestral music track, then this video can be really helpful to you. I'm going to take you to the raw composition, the MIDI mockup of False Mystique, one of my original music tracks in Logic Pro X, and show you how I re establish two melody lines again and again into a full cinematic orchestral music track of more than three minutes long. So, if you have the ambition to write this kind of cinematic orchestral music, this video can give you some ideas, tips, and tricks to grow your skills. Hi there, this is David, also known as Ghost Rider. I have highlighted all the parts in the composition that play a melody line. That means that everything that is not highlighted plays a rhythmic part, harmony, or it adds some sort of textures to the composition. Another thing that I want to address is that I only use a couple of instruments to play the melody parts. A solo celeste, a solo flute, a cor anglais, also known as an English horn in combination with the viola a solo bassoon and a solo oboe playing two different melody lines and I come to that in a second. Violence in combinations with a cello, violence one and two with a solo oboe, violence with horns and at the end a cor anglais again. So I have used only a couple of instruments keeping all the other colors and textures of the orchestra for the harmony, the rhythm and the textures to create more diversity and get more creativity in the composition. And that is a great way to keep your listeners attention throughout the entire track. So let's go through it section by section. What you want to do as quickly as possible in your composition is to establish the melody, making your listener familiar with that melody having the maximize attention of your listener on the melody. I've done that by using the Celeste only in combination with some Pichicado double basses, so the listener has his or her attention fully on the melody line. And after the Celeste, I immediately re-establish the melody with a solo flute. So the listeners are now aware and familiar with the first melody line. After a transition part, I introduce a second melody line played by the cor anglais and viola in unison. And if you have watched more videos on my channel, you know I have used this combination in the video Can You Recognize the Orchestral Instruments? After this part, you get two melody lines. I have re-established the first melody and I have used the second melody line too in combination with the bassoon and the oboe. So in some sort of way you can speak about a main melody and a counter melody. After this part, the violin and the cello take it over and they do exactly the same as the bassoon and the oboe they play the first melody line and the second melody line. Then I'm going to introduce the second melody line only played by the violin one and the violin two, the visi, in combination with the oboe. The oboe and the violin one play in unison and the violin two in the visi plays down an octave. After this I introduce for the first time the brass color by the horns. They play the melody lines in unison with the violins to the visi. The violins long one play the melody line an octave above.
And after this part, we end again with the Cor Anglais, this time solo, the English horn, playing the melody once more. So this music track, The Vols Mystique, is a great example how you can re-establish a melody line, or in this case two melody lines, over and over again, and develop that melody line into a full cinematic orchestral music track. And by using different orchestral instruments for that melody line, you keep adding different colors and different textures out of the orchestra, so you will keep your listeners' attention throughout the entire music track. And by just using one or two orchestral instruments for that specific melody line, you will keep all the other instruments out of the orchestra available for your harmony, your rhythmic part, and your textures. And that will give lots of diversity and creativity in your composition. So hopefully this video gave you some guidance, some tips and some tricks how you can develop your melody lines and themes that you have written into a full cinematic orchestral music track.